Hi everyone, uh, Baker25 here again. I uh, just want to talk in this video about the BHF CB. It's not really, I don't know, what's the word? I want to say it's never really taken off, but there's not a lot of activity on it around here. Let's put it that way. BHF CB in the UK consists of this type of thing little PMR446 radio, that's a Midland G7 and they're about, if you sort of do a bit of shopping around, you get them for about £80 and that's for two here's another one that I've got it's a little Binatone Action 950 nice little feature of that, it displays the frequency for each channel, each one's got 8 channels by the way, well this one has the G7 has got 8 PMR channels and I think there's 69 LPD channels and LPD stands for low powered device don't always sit right with a lot of amateurs because these transmit on the amateur band but only at 10 milliwatts so I don't know why Ofcom did that to be honest only they know but you can legally use one of these on parts of the amateur band off the top of my head I can't remember where they interfere I've got a feeling I don't think it's the simplex frequencies I think it's possibly some of them are on the input of some of the 70 SEMS repeaters which is a you know don't look at me I never made the rules up uh, oh and there's another one that's a little that's called a little Cobra micro talk and that particular little model only a tiny little radio I don't know if you can see it in my hand there quite small they're a, a, I pay £29 for them out of Maplins, but now I think they've just gone up, they're about 32 34 quid. They're a 5 kilometre set and they take three AA batteries. I use rechargeables in mine. Got a belt clip and all the rest of it. Uh, I think the Action 950, I think they claim 8 or 10 kilometres. Right, okay, we'll leave that there. They say 10 kilometres, yeah, I believe that. The G7, the Midlands, I think they claim 12. But these can be modified. If you open them up, look inside, you've got three rings, or like little hoops on the circuit board. If you cut them, ups the power to 2 watts. Uh, and I think that's what actually opens up the LPD channels as well I can't honestly remember, I've had them for that long can't remember what I've done with them you've also got other rigs like the Intec 5050 I've got one of them but that's in a shed same with them, you can cut the three little hoops and I, I think that turns the power up to 4 watts you can fit an external antenna socket which you can on any radio if you know what you're doing you know, you can connect them up to external antennas, it's illegal of course. But in this area, UHF-CB don't exist as such, and I've yet to see any. Uh, PMR, what's it stand for? Private Mobile Radio, I think it's called. Don't need a license for it. And I do find a lot of the advertising a bit misleading really because they'll say oh it's got eight channels on it but it's got like a hundred and odd private channels basically if you set one radio up on say channel one let me just look in the menu of this one so I'm not talking absolute gibberish well, you've got channel three and then you've got yeah, on this one you've got 38 privacy codes 
if you like now that's fine if I'm on channel 3 on, with a privacy tone 38 then I pump the other radio one on channel 3 and transmit this radio won't hear it because it's got privacy code on but when I transmit back the other one will hear this radio because the radio's not been silenced it's very misleading if you uh, set your radio on scan someone else might be thinking oh we're on a private channel here we're on we've got this privacy code on it's rubbish the radio scanning will pick that up okay if you try to talk to them people they won't hear you but you may well interfere with their conversation if your signal to either one of the people in the conversation is stronger than theirs it will just blank out their conversation so there you go, that's VHF CB. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not saying it's a waste of time because I use these a lot. Me and my other half, sometimes use them. I'm upstairs, she's downstairs because the other half, unfortunately, has got a bad back, she's disabled. And uh, sometimes if she's really not well, if she goes to bed, I say, there you go, take the radio. If you want me, just call me, I'll bring you up a cup of tea, that type of thing. But my own personal findings are if ever I hear anyone that sounds quite strong and quite close if you try and talk to them they totally freak it's like, oh my god who's that <laughs> you know and I think a lot of it is because the people think that it's a totally private conversation and someone else a stranger has butted in so if ever someone don't want to talk to you, you know, don't sort of persist. Just let them get on with it. I found most people will just turn off. They're completely frozen freaks. Never to be heard again. Radio, bin. There you go. Actually, tell a lie. I have heard someone using these for uh, communicating. But they're not on an off-the-peg radio. They're on, I think it's an amateur radio that's been opened up. And uh, they, they quite often chat, but I've not not participated, let's say. But PMR radio, I think it's a great little thing. It's handy if one of you's out in the garden, one of you's with a radio, and you're trying to adjust the antenna for resonance, get the SWR down. You can just say, is that any better? And they can key up and go yes or no or whatever. It saves all the in and out. It saves a lot of running about, especially if you're on a roof. So there you go, that's all I've got to say really about VHFCB. Round here it's a bit of a no-go, but I am aware of it. And uh, I will just add something else. All right, this is another bit about the misleading advertising. This little rig here claims 5 kilometres. This one claims 12. Now because of the nature of the beast, and the, free, the uh, UHF frequencies that they use it's very much line of sight but you will find for argument's sake if you get a 5 kilometer set and sit on top of a mountain you may well get 10 kilometers so you get more than your money's worth but if you get a 10 kilometer set and use it in a built up area you might only get 2 kilometers so it, a lot of it depends on where you are what obstructions you've got you don't normally get favorable conditions though it does happen I've never heard it myself but short range communication spot on but, uh, you've got to be realistically a couple of miles away or less to effectively use the off the peg ones all right if you've got it connected up to an external antenna it's another thing you know, that's, that's what I presume that they're all talking about. UHF, CB, doing it like that. Because you can get, you know, good ranges. Uh, I doubt on quite small antennas. But, you know, I don't think it's ever really caught on. There you go, I'll catch you soon. Maybe that's explained a little bit, or maybe not. But if it ain't, watch it again. <laughs> In case you missed a bit. Stick a comment if you want. Subscribe and all that. Then I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.